Good afternoon. My name is Nicolas Mango. I'm FIFA's Deputy Director of Communications and Public Affairs. Very nice to meet you this afternoon for uh, what we uh, will be uh, in a couple of minutes, the first of our four press talks for this afternoon, a uh, couple of hours before the much-awaited FIFA Ballon d'Or Gala. We will uh, start in a few seconds with the first video introducing the uh, finalist for the award of FIFA World Coach of the Year for Women's Football, and we will then welcome them all on stage. Uh, after that, I will uh, have a couple of questions for them. We'll do this a little bit uh, dynamic in a, in, a, in, a, in a talk. And then I will also include some questions which we have received from uh, fans all around the world on uh, Twitter. And finally, obviously, you get a chance to ask your questions to our guests. But before and without further ado, please let's enter together this video. Video, please. Nominees for FIFA World Coach of the Year for Women's Football. Ralph Kellerman, coach of VfL Wolfsburg. Maren Meinert, coach of Germany under 19s and under 20s. Norio Sasaki, coach of Japan. None of these will be named the FIFA World Coach of the Year for Women's Football 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Maren Meinert from Germany. Ralf Kellermann, also from Germany. And Noyo Sasaki from Japan. Thank you so much for being with us this afternoon, just a couple of hours before the FIFA Ballon d'Or Gala. Let me start with one question on the development of football. Women's game, women's football has evolved a lot, has been promoted a lot. Um, what is your view, what are your views actually on the development of women's football? Marin, please. Yeah, I think schon, that we um well, uh, stetig I voranschreiten mit unserer Entwicklung, das sieht man, glaube ich, an der Leistungsdichte, forward, die mittlerweile entwickelt haben. And I also believe that if you love football, then you see this passion which is right now being shown on the pitch. No, you. So, it's ne. Ano, hontoni desu ne. Yes, of course, the women's uh, football has become more like a men's football, very, very skillful, becoming more and more skillful, and all the, uh, the players have grown up, have grown, developed and grown up so much. And the general style has been improved, has been improved, and this all, these all contributed to the development of women's football. Ralf, your views? Well, of course, I second what has been said. Football is much faster. Tactics are becoming more important than it has been said. Of course, the structures in the clubs, as Marin said, are better. And the players arrive in our team with a higher level of training and formation. And since the other countries are catching up, it is important to stay on top of the development has not yet reached its peak, but overall it's improving. Mine, you are successfully forming German stars, uh, the German stars of, of tomorrow. Let's speak a bit of 
development of grassroots football, which I believe is surely key for the development of women's football in, in general. What has changed uh, in this area, especially in terms of structures, maybe coaching programs and all those things? Well, indeed, the uh, campaign was kicked off to get more girls and uh, young women into football and to play in teams, and suddenly we have lots of teams in Germany, and uh, we also have now better structures for the girls in the clubs, and over the last few decades, uh, through the leagues and through club football on an international level, we have now more competitions where they can play and that are a challenge and uh, we have created programs to select the proper girls to find the proper girls and to have them play for a long time in their clubs so they can develop properly so I guess in the long term we'll have a good basis and then of course you will have more players numerously in the peak. No, you. Um, in five months from, from now, uh, as you very well know, uh, the uh, FIFA Women's World Cup will kick off in, uh, in Canada. Um, what uh, do you think I such international competitions actually play in the development of the women's game? And also, I mean, everyone knows you, you won uh, the trophy uh, four years ago in, uh, in, in Germany. What impact uh, did the success have on the development of women's game in Japan. Well, so the Women's World Cup is the top event, and it is very important in that everybody in the world is really focusing on this event. And then every time we have a World Cup, uh, you can see that um, women are getting better and better, better and then uh, the women's football can um, gain recognition and become uh, children's dreams. Uh, so that's very important. So our success in Germany tells you that anybody can win, so any ethnic group can win. I think that was very important and that actually attributed and contributed to the development of female football. And now, in Asia, in many different countries, um, a lot of um, women are, uh, well, have dreams of winning a World Cup. Ralph, a question for, for you now. Um, in which areas do you think women's football uh, has changed most in the last, say, 10 years? And what will be the most changes to come? Will we see already new trends, maybe at this summer's World Cup? Yes, as I indicated before, now the women players have better coaches, start playing early under excellent conditions. And then when you take a look at the development they take when they grow up, then suddenly the quality of play is higher, they're more athletic, they're faster, and uh, tactics are becoming more important. And that was very important and necessary because as, uh, the leagues are becoming more competitive and then it's difficult to say whether you're going to win it all or not because there's hardly any team left that will win everything like in the past. Only two or three teams were able to win before, but now suddenly you really have to give 100% of your performance if you want to win. And these players are better trained and then of course this will bring forward the development of German football. Now it's fun. It's, we're really enjoying it, and I don't think we've seen the end yet because there's more and more better trained young players coming up, and I think we're going to enjoy women's football over the next few years. Thank you very much. As I said earlier on, we also received some questions sent by football fans from all around the world and uh, through social media. So I'd like to take uh, one of them, uh, please. It will come uh, on the screen in a, in a second, but I will read it to you. It's addressed to uh, Maren and, and Noyo. And the question is, which young player do you believe will stand out in the next Women's World Cup? Maren, do you have a, do you have a guess? 
also ich hoffe, dass es eine Spielerin aus Deutschland well, ist. Well, I just hope ist, it's going to be a player Grund, from Germany. That's the only wish I have. Gesagt, And I also said before, it's also this leap from the under 20 to the women's team. Uh, it's difficult. Now, I don't want to jump the gun right here, but uh, I basically believe that the ones winning the under 20 title will stand a good chance. They still have six months to go. And I just hope that that uh, one of the German players is going to play a leading role, but we will see. <laughs> well, so um, under 20, um, we uh, did not qualify in the um, Asian um, tournament in terms of under 20, so we do know how important it is to start early, but in the um, uh, Canadian World Cup, well, there is a physica um, physical um, aspect, but more than that, I think the skills and tactics are going to be the key. So in that sense, well, uh, these days, Germany, well, I wouldn't say recently, but uh, Germany is an established uh, presence, and uh, France is also very, very strong, according to our an analysis, and America. So those three are going to be the uh, major countries, and then we'd like to really sort of challenge them as Japan. Thank you, Ralph. We also have a question uh, for you uh, sent uh, by a fan through through Twitter. It will also it's now on, on, on the screen as you can see. Uh, Volvo will face Rosengard in the quarterfinal of the uh, UEFA Champions League Women's Champions League. Do you believe that this will be a rematch of the last final? So I guess this question is linked to the fact that you had to play a Swedish team uh, for the final last year, but also because. Uh, pretty key player, Marta, who will be with us later on today on stage actually, uh, has moved in the meantime to this club of Rosengard. What's your take on that? Yeah, I I have great souvenirs uh, from last year's match and I said goodbye to Marta and said to her we'll see again each other at the final. But, uh, well, okay, perhaps Marta will not participate, but um, I believe that the teams now in the quarterfinals, they're pretty much at the same level. Hofengard has a very high quality quality and has a great advantage and was a, by a wide margin Swedish champion. So we will just have to win the home match and then try to win the away match. But it's interesting, there's a tension, there's passion, there's a challenge. We'll hope to make it to the final. Thank you. It's time now to turn to the floor and get uh, your questions. So please, before asking your question, be so kind to tell your name, as well as the name of your media organization. We have, as always, two microphones, one on each side. Who takes the first question? No question? I'm sure you have. Come on. Yes, please. Chris Blattmann, Frauenfußball Magazin. Chris uh, Blattmann. Ralph Kellerman, you have been nominated uh, as club coach. Now, when one looks into the past, uh, normally it's national coaches, but what does that nomination mean for you? Well, in women's football, of course, uh, we had the coaches, national team coaches, in the focus over the last few years, but I think, on the other hand, being nominated means that there's recognition for the work done in the clubs, and uh, I believe that other club coaches will also be here over the next few years, because then I think in the next few years the focus will be on club coaches, and uh, for me, of course, uh, it makes me happy and proud. Next question. Over there. Thank you. Thank you. 
Bonjour, Jan Kreutz, journaliste pour Sud Presse en Belgique. J'aurais une question pour M. Kellerman. Malheureusement, samedi, la Belgique et Wolfsburg ont perdu un joueur dans un tragique accident de voiture en la personne de Junior Malanda. Est-ce que, en tant que coach de l'équipe féminine, vous avez été également marqué par son décès Et est-ce que, si vous gagnez le prix, vous comptez peut-être lui dédier Well, it is certainly not an easy situation for our club and for our staff. Over the last few years, we have become a unity. It's like a big family. And we were wondering for a long time whether me and Nadine Kessler should participate in this gala this evening because it was an absolute shock. It was a tragedy, but uh, we decided in the, for the sake of football, and uh, I believe that Junior Melanda also wanted us to be here today. We are pleased to be here, but you understand that we don't feel like partying. The next question. Do we have? No, as you can see, I have a few. I have a few others anyway, uh, so you can still think think of another question. Uh, mine. One question for for you. Um, you had so much success with the junior team. Has this given you a, a hunger to move? I would say to the next level and ge and get maybe the A or N A national team as a coach. Well, frankly speaking, I said I have the best job in the world. I'm not wearing myself out. I get always the best new players. And I think it is a marvelous job for a coach. It's an easier job in the sense that you don't have this effect of wear over the years. Now, I feel totally at ease. I'm 100% satisfied. And if the women are successful, we have an absolutely great coach in Germany, and I like the situation as it is. One question to the three of you. One of the innovations at the Women's World Cup this year will be the introduction of goal line technology. What do you think of this? Ralf, if I may. Well, I believe that all technical help will make football a bit more fair. And uh, if you get a chance, take advantage of it, because very often you see, for instance, that goals are not given, and uh, sometimes there is... Uh, you need technical support, and that's one part of it. Well, I believe that there is more safety and security for everybody. And if you have a goal line technology, for instance, um, a goal is immediately indicated, and uh, everybody says football should be on an equal footing, a level playing field. So we know it from American sports that goal line technology is being used. And I think it will make football move forward and then uh, there's a discussion going on on other things in football as well. No, you? So, the technology in the world Amongst all the uh, technologies, one of the, the most uh, widely used is the, uh, the goal uh, area technology, and that's the most important, I mean, strict sort of severe sort of area which would be necessary. Uh, but, uh, of course, the, the very basic is that the referee uh, would have the trust of everybody. So a human being referee would be the make the judgment, then there will be a technological support. So I'm now turning again towards the, the floor to see if there is any question, if any question in the meantime has come to anyone's mind. Yes, please. 
Posso fazer a pergunta em português? Yes. O que vocês três acham que aconteceu com o futebol feminino do Brasil, que era uma potência e nos últimos anos não teve bons resultados? What happens with women's football in Brazil, uh, which was a powerhouse and was expected to get uh, good results? You address this question to all three of our guests. Okay, thank you. No, please. All right. Uh, Brazil, you need to as to the, the Brazil, of course, the each players, each players' judgmental ability and the skill, it all superlative, wonderful. And of course, we, 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 when we attended the uh, quarterfinal, uh, the, uh, the, we really couldn't believe that we could, uh, we could win. And uh, their skill and ability is just so fantastic. So so we are looking forward to seeing uh, the repetition or the even the, the better performance from uh, from them. So uh, maybe maybe if I if if I imagine how the the the. the, the the matches will progress, maybe at the quarterfinal again, we might meet them. Marvin? Ja, ich habe gerade in der Gruppe auch bei der U20 WM gegen Brasilien gespielt und ich muss sagen, also da war jetzt yes, nicht viel Entfernung uh, uh, zwischen uns und Brasilien, Brasilien dass sie weitergehen und wir in der Vorrunde ausscheiden. Ich glaube, das ist eine Momentaufnahme, das mag, wenn man auch die Reihenergebnisse so 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 uh, so Ich glaube, dass sie auch, wenn ich die U20 von Brasilien gesehen habe, so der Brasilianische Fußball, so gut es wie er immer war, vielleicht fehlen die Ergebnisse, aber das kann ja auch schnell gehen, dass das wiederkommt. In Brasilien wird es immer hervorragende Fußballerinnen geben, getting results right now, but it's uh, on the way. Uh, there are always excellent uh, women footballers in Brazil because they have this uh, football gene to have uh, standout individual players, and I think results will come. Well, I guess uh, Marin says things that can be supported fully. I mean, we have a World Cup coming up in six months, and Brazil will be preparing as best they can. These are highly skilled players, and then possibly the uh, surface we will play on will be in favor of the Brazilians. And uh, it is uh, finally only a matter of a few elements whether you will finish in the quarterfinals and make it to the final. I mean, the potential is there. We're getting close to the end of this uh, press talk. I have one final question for, for the three of you. You had a fantastic year in 2014, hence why you are here. What's your main wish for 2015? I start with Marin. Well, of course, one expects a year similar to the year we had last time. Germany was a great year for German football. And then, of course, you just want for the coming year to have health, good health for everybody. You want uh, success in sports and you want to enjoy your work. So I want to enjoy my work in 2015 as much as I did in 2014. That's about it. In 2011, Japan uh, was struck by the uh, natural, natural disaster of the earthquake, and out of all the rubble, uh, we stood up, uh, we resurrected and stood up and won. Uh, so now we are still trying to uh, completely recover from that and we through our football activities and efforts we'd like to inspire, give encouragement and inspiration to the Japanese nation and the people in the world and we regard this as our uh, mission and Next year, we hope again that we'll be able to stand here on this stage, uh, maybe aim for um, achieving, um, winning the uh, the best um, team award, Ballon d'Or. 
Ja, ich, ja, ich wünsche mir, dass well, die Entwicklung im Frauenfußball weitergeht wie in den letzten football. Jahren. Dass wir den the past wir den Jungs erarbeitet haben, behalten können oder auch noch ein Stück weit ausbauen können. We can go on expanding und ich freue mich wahnsinnig auf die Weltmeisterschaft in Kanada. Ich werde vor Ort sein, ich werde mir mit Sicherheit sehen, ich werde mit Sicherheit sehen, dass es ein tolles Event wird, dass es ein Gott große Werbung für den Frauenfußball gemacht wird. Und ich werde mich auch für ein Ziel für Frauen und 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 Frauen press talk in a few minutes we will have on stage the finalist competing for the title of women's player of the year thank you so much